So I had a conversation with A. Crosby probably about a month ago, and I was kind of complaining to him that you know, everyone on YouTube thinks I'm this big PC gamer, and you know, after this week's pickups, I can kind of see why you guys think that. <laughs> I did pick up quite a few PC games this week. Um, you know, I was telling him I have just under 1,300 games at my place, and out of those 1,300 games, I got maybe 100 PC games. So I was really kind of questioning, like, why does everyone think I'm this big PC game collector? But like I said, after this week's pickups, I can see why. So um, I've actually even had people say say to me, um, you know, if I ever find a PC game out there, a big box PC game, I'll let you know. And I mean, these PC games are pretty easy to find. Uh, they're not too difficult. There are a few I am actively looking for, and it's mainly the Mech Warrior games. So Mech Warrior two, three, and four. Um, and I'm looking for Quake, Quake two. But other than that, I mean, I just pick them up as I come across them. Um, usually, if you are looking for a PC game, if you're a PC game collector, <clears throat> you can find these at thrift stores, and they're usually cheaper than the console counterpart. And for some reason, I guess, um, the people pricing the PC games think, okay, it's just a computer game, well, this is a, a GameCube game or a PS2 game or whatever, and they, they undervalue the PC games. So um, there's actually quite a few out there that are worth a little bit of money, so keep your eyes open for those. Um, let's get into the finds of the week. Um, I went to a GameStop on Half Off Day and picked up, um, first off, The Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay. Uh, I have this one. Uh, actually, all these Xbox games I already have. So uh, I just picked it up for you know, trade or sale. I know a lot of people look for this type of game. Uh, this was $2.50. Next up is Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. Again, two dollars and fifty cents. Crimson Skies. Again, two dollars and fifty cents. Uh, again, the reason I pick these up is I know people look for these, and I'm definitely open to trades or if someone wants to buy it off me, whatever. Um, all of these are flawless. And that's the only reason I, I bought them. Next up, um, I picked up Super Bust a Move, and I'm actually a fan of Super Bust a Move. Um, I was actually looking for a Bust a Move game too, because I used to love playing these games in the arcade and could never find one on the console until, you know, this past week. So I uh, picked up Super Bust a Move on the PS2, again, $2.50. There is a little bit of wear on the label, as you can see, but the disc and manual are flawless. So we'll try it out. Uh, next, I added, well, I didn't add, I actually picked up uh, Dragon Ball Z Season 1. And I usually don't show this kind of thing. The reason being is it's a DVD, whatever. Um, I actually even have the entire series of uh, Dragon Ball Z and GT. Um, still kind of looking for the original Dragon Ball, but um, I don't know. I came across this one, and again, it was half off day. Um, they initially wanted twenty bucks for this thing, so um, half off made it ten. I know some people actively look for this. Uh, the reason I picked this up, again, uh, is pretty much mint condition, other than that, other than a little bit of wear on the corners. Uh, all the discs are flawless. Um, yeah, a great series. I definitely enjoy it. I remember watching this uh, when I was in college. Uh, a bunch of people were telling me, oh, you guys are watching Dragon Ball Z, whatever, whatever. And, you know, obviously when you're in college, you spend a lot of time studying. And I used to be up all night, either playing um, Commandos, uh, behind enemy lines or studying and it's most of the time commandos to be honest um, around 4 a.m. Dragon Ball Z would come on and I just started watching it because there's nothing else on and then I got addicted to it so um, that's how I got into the series but um, yeah again I picked this up for 10 bucks um, I don't know. I'll probably sell this off because I do already have it Next up, um, the next lot of games anyways, I got for 30% off because I had a 30% off coupon at Value Village. So I picked up um, The Thing on the PS2. Um, don't have this one. I do plan on keeping it. 
and uh, from what I hear, it's actually pretty good. And it's based, uh, or it's kind of a sequel to the movie, I guess. So we'll see how this one is. Uh, also picked up Twisted Metal Black. Um, again, I already have this one, but I know people do look for this. Next up is Prince of Persia, and this is kind of what I, what I was talking about earlier, where they price certain games higher than others. Uh, as you can see, you know, Prince of Persia here is seven bucks on the GameCube. You know, I'll, you know, this PS2 game is five, and then this PC game is four. You know, so if you're looking for PC games, and definitely they they price them so cheap just to get rid of them, but. Um, Anyways, they recognize the GameCube lo logo here and go, oh, this must be a lot more money and I'm going to put it at 7 bucks, whatever. Uh, but I had a 30% off coupon, so it kind of made it worth it. Um, it's actually a really good game. I did play it. I played it on the PC, actually, to be honest with you. But um, I do have a PS2 version of this, and the reason I picked this up is it's actually in mint condition. So, you know, when I had the 30% off coupon, Kind of sweeten the deal because I wouldn't pay seven bucks for this. Um, they did actually have Super Mario Sunshine in there as well, and I ended up passing on it. The reason being was the insert was all damaged, the manual was missing, and the disc looked like it was resurfaced and then scratched to hell again. So I just kind of left it there. Didn't want to take the shot. Next up, uh, back into the PC games. Here we go. Civilization V, Civilization Gods and Kings. Um, I have all the Civilization, and this one kind of completes the collection. So, um, again, $4 a piece, minus 30%. Uh, this one here, Dungeon Siege, is actually an upgrade for me, and it's. Um, just a condition up to upgrade. I already have the game, but the box is pretty beat up. So um, I took this up, and it wasn't priced. So she asked me where I got it from, and I kind of told her where I got it from, and she said, "Okay, well, it's two ninety nine. So two ninety nine minus thirty percent, it's sold." Next up, a big box PC game here, Mist, and I think I have this on the Sega Saturn. I'm not sure if it's the same game or not. Um, uh, one day I'll find out. Uh, got this for five dollars minus thirty percent, so three fifty. Next up, I actually thought I had this in my collection, and I'm glad I keep a spreadsheet. Um, I always tell people, you know, if you have a collection and it's pretty big, you know, make a spreadsheet so you can take it with you. And uh, you know, basically what I do is I just. After I finish one of these videos, I go to my spreadsheet, update the uh, spreadsheet, and then email it to myself so I know what I have. And, you know, just a quick look into your phone to see if you have it or not. I mean, definitely can save you a little bit of money. I always hate coming home with doubles. Uh, at least ones that, you know, aren't purposely, purposely bought. So, you know, I took a quick look in the phone and saw I didn't have this one. So I ended up picking it up. Um, Yes, apparently someone paid $68 for this at one point. Next up, I had a Goodwill. Uh, again, on half price day, I picked up Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Um, as a 505 price tag, they just charged me $250. So, uh, the reason I picked this up, I do have it already, but um, it's kind of hard to find this one, at least in my area. And. I actually think this is a condition upgrade for me, so, you know, this one's actually missing the manual, so I'll probably take the manual out of mine, and then uh, put it into this one, and then saw off my copy, or trade it off, whoever wants it. Next up, um, you know, let me sit down for these next two. Um, I was talking to Josh from the Game Hunter, Game Hunters R Us, um, and he had mentioned, I guess a couple weeks ago, that he picked up a whole bunch of games from Target and you know to go check out your Target for these deals and all that and I told him that um, there's adver advertised deals uh, in the flyer that are specific to um, a certain region of Canada and then they also have unadvertised sales which are basically um, store wide so um, it's only specific to that one store 
And uh, so if you have two, let's say, targets in your store in your area, um, one game may be on sale at one store and it won't be on sale at the other. So that's the case in this situation here. Um, at one target, this game was priced at $17, which is the one I picked up. This is, I got this for 17 bucks. Uh, meanwhile, at another's target, it was, I think, $49.99. And it's in the same city, so go figure. And basically, the deal is, is like I said, it's store-wide, or uh, not store-wide, uh, store-specific. And uh, if you take it that to another store and say, hey, I saw this at another target, can you match the price? They won't do it. So uh, it doesn't hurt hitting up as many targets as you can to see kind of what they have. So anyways, I picked this up. Um, for $17 plus tax, I think it came up to just over 19 bucks. And uh, actually looking forward to this one. Um, I've been playing the version on the PS, PS Vita and uh, it's not as good as um, the console releases. It kind of seems like a, a Metroid Mania kind of thing. But um, I was kind of looking forward to this one here. I know it didn't get the greatest of reviews and whatever, but um, I was looking forward to it, so uh, I'll get to it soon, hopefully. Uh, next up, the big purchase of the week. Um, I got a story behind this one because... Alright, so a couple weeks ago, I had to change my um, GameStop Power Rewards card or whatever it's called um, because it wasn't scanning in their scanners. And it mainly because I was I was one of the first um, people to transition to the new cards here in Canada, and for some reason they didn't, those cards didn't scan with their scanners, so they gave me a new card um, at one location, um, different location actually to where I pre-ordered this one this uh, game here, and um, what happened was the person. When it got to data entry, the person who keyed it in, they were supposed to key in, let's say, 565. They put 656. And it linked my account to uh, a different card holder and, um, you know, all my points from, like, I think it was February on to, I think it was May when it got fixed. Uh, all these points were being collected by a guy named John Gary, who I don't know who that is. Um, but when I pre-ordered um, Tales of Zillia 2, um, a buddy of mine at GameStop basically said, wait, you're not John Gary. And uh, he had me confirm all the purchases I made. And, you know, all these purchases that were made on John Gary's card were actually, in fact, my purchases. So he did all this extra legwork to move those points from John Gary over to my account. Uh, unfortunately, at the time, uh, I think he missed a pre-order I had under that card number, and that was for this here, uh, Sniper Elite. Uh, I put 20 bucks down on it, and uh, John Gary still had my 20 bucks down on this. So um, when I went on vacation last week, I told the manager of that GameStop, you know, I'm going to be off or out of the country for a week, you know, just put this aside for me. I'll come pick it up the Monday when I get back. And she was really cool about that. So um, I went in on this past Monday, and um, I know all the employees that work there. So um, I went up to the counter. I said, hey, I'm here to pick up Sniper Elite. And uh, he pulled out the regular version. And I said, wait a minute. Um, I was supposed to have the, um, the collector's edition. And... He looked in the system, he's like, no, I only see $10 under your name, and um, that $10 actually came from Tales of Zillia 2. Um, they made me cancel it because, I don't know, something like, my buddy told me um, they didn't get as many pre-orders as they expected, and one had to be canceled, and it was mine because I was the last person to do it. So, but I moved that $10 over to Sniper Elite, and um, when I moved that over, the guy who did it, um, moved it over to a regular copy instead of the collector's edition. Well, that $20 was still under, sitting under John Gary's name. Um, so I basically told the employee, you know, I, I have the receipt at home. I'll go home, grab it, and come back and show you. 
and you know I, it took me 15 minutes to go there and back um got to the store basically everything got sorted out um good thing john and gary didn't come in to pick this up because uh i would have been screwed to come in but um anyways i ended up paying um taxes in i think it was just over 90 dollars for this thing and mainly because it's 80 bucks in canada for this collector's edition meanwhile in the u.s it's um 70 so um i know it's a little bit of a you know why did you pick that up kind of thing but i really love these sniper elite games and when i knew there was a collector's edition coming out i know it's not there's no statue with it or anything uh, like that but um i wanted to grab it just because i'm a fan of the game and a lot of people say either love or hate this game um, because the sniping mechanics are are ultra realistic you gotta take into account gravity the wind uh, any kind of sounds that are going on and it, there's just so much fun to play um, I will say though that any other guns that you need to use at least in the previous ones they suck if you have to use any other gun other than your sniper rifle you're pretty much dead so um, you know I like I said I just love these sniping games and uh, I, I'm actually looking for someone to play this with um, I know a buddy of mine wants to get this eventually I don't want to play it eventually. I want to play it sometime soon. And I'm looking for someone to play with. So if any of you guys have this game and want to play it, send me a PM and uh, uh, maybe we can schedule some kind of play time or something. Um, I want to play entirely through the single player campaign with someone. So I mean, if you just want to play one level with me, I mean, I'd probably not be interested. But if you're you know dedicated and want to play through the entire game, let me know. Um, so yeah, that's the pickups of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, again, looking forward to everyone else else's videos. Um, I know a lot of people got their garage sale videos going up, but um, there's really not too many good garage sales going on in my area, at least. So I, I went up today, didn't really even see one sign. So kind of shows you what it's like in my area. Uh, anyways, um, till next time, take care.